Hello. I don't see you. I'm coming. I'm coming. There you go. Oh, I was going to say, what? You don't see me? I'm go. right now here. I see you. Hey, Happy New Year. Happy, Happy New, New Year. Hi. Happy New Year. Robert Boxtall. He was the police officer, Brian Fletcher, on North of 60. He was nominated twice for Gemini for Best Actor for North of 60. What shows has he been on? Street Legal. This is Wonderland. Nikita. Nero Wolf Mystery. Flashpoint. Islander. Newsroom. Sailor Moon. Relic Hunter. Batman. I think he's also a librarian. Really? Get out. And he just wrote a novel that came out in March called Willow's Run. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Robert Boxtall. Yeah! Wow, look at you. This is our first episode of 2023. Awesome. Woo! Happy, Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Do you remember the spark when you were young? What got you into acting? I used to watch late night movies with my father. The real thing was I was inspired by him. His litany was, do you think I enjoy going to work every day? I thought, I don't want to be like that. When I stumbled into acting in high school, I ended up falling into this high school play, The Music Man. Oh. A little light went on. I never looked back. In 1985, you did a short animation, Rumpelstiltskin. There is but one weapon to defeat me. My name, your majesty. Call me by my true name. A friend of mine who was pitching the idea of this animated short, he said, well, I want to do a demo so that they get an idea of what it might sound like. They liked the pitch. They also wanted me to play the role. I have this very deep voice. And the director said, I want to hire, hire, hire. When I came out of there, I was coughing up blood. I'm going to jump to 1991 when you were on Counter-Strike. Why the hell didn't you tell us that before? How can I admit that we were harboring a genetic Frankenstein? Amazing. I don't know where you guys find this. I had a fair amount of text for this one scene. When I arrived on set, they handed me a complete rewrite. And the director says, don't worry, what we're going to do is we're going to shoot everybody else's singles and we're going to turn around on you. By then, I had done it yeah. 10 times. That was part of my education as a television actor. I think most people probably know you from north of 60. Oh, are you just going to leave him? You guys make a bet or what? 50 bucks says Fletcher won't go down that path? Hey, I'll go down that path. If that's what you really want. That character, he turned dark. Oh, yeah. Did you know that was going to happen? As it started taking such a dark turn, I expressed my glee <laughs> <laughs> to the writers. I'm in 100% here. One, One last one. clip. Chris, the United States military would like to procure your services. For your safety. Because we will be upgrading the site's security. Do you have any questions? Yes. What kind of toys are we making, sir? Not toys, miss. Fat man. There was a real tremendous experience. I had a whole bunch of scenes with Mel Gibson and a young man's dream realized I was inspired by Mel. I wanted to be in a movie like Mad Max, although it was the oldest I've ever been in my life. So tell us a little bit about Willow's Run. This is my debut novel. When I was 49, I decided to take early retirement. I went back to school, became a librarian. Ah, you are a librarian. Yeah. One of the main set pieces in this book, it takes place in a library. It's a thriller, mystery, very fast-paced, complex plot. It dropped in March. The reviews are fantastic. You can go to your website to robertboxdale.com and all the links are there to Amazon and Audible and Scribed and Apple Books. Robert, <laughs> thank you so much for spending some time with us today. Thank you for having me. What a joy. Thank you. Absolutely. Have a great year. He's lovely, eh? Hey, Andrew, yeah. does he have anything coming up? He's got a movie called House of Change, which was done in 2022. So watch for that on TV. Guys, Happy New Year. And the best gift you can give us is to like, share, comment, and subscribe.